anyone wishing to speak in public participation will be given the opportunity to do so. When prompted, if you are using video feed, please raise your hand to show you wish to speak. If you have only joined this audio, please ensure you're unmuted and identify yourself and that you are wishing to speak. I as chair will then prompt when it is your turn to speak. You will be giving a maximum of four minutes to make your representation. Please state the agenda item which you will be speaking about. Through me as chair, council members or officers may then respond to your point if necessary. You will automatically be able to reply unless I as chair allow you to do so. I would ask that participants looking to leave the meeting wait until the end of the agenda item to limit distractions for other participants. Anyone looking to rejoin partway through the meeting will join the Zoom waiting room and then be let into the meeting by the host at the next available point of the meeting. I trust that all councillors have read the taking part in a Zoom meeting instructions. I would like to summarize some key points. As chair, I will lead the meeting through the agenda as normal. Councillors must, must still give apologies or make declarations of interest in the usual manner. Councillors wishing to speak should raise their hands in the video feed and this will be noted down in order by the host. If you do not have video feed and audio only, please unmute yourself when prompted by the chair and state your name and that you are wishing to speak. Then mute yourself again until it is your time to speak. When voting, the host will call out names in order and councillors should respond with their vote. Please note that votes will not be recorded record, uh, re recorded vote unless requested by a councillor in the usual manner. To all present, please remember to show respect to others in the meeting and avoid interrupting where possible to enable others to follow the meeting. If any councillor feels concerned about any aspect of the meeting or discussion, please unmute yourself and clearly state point of order. The chair will then gesture for you to elaborate. Please do remember to check regularly that you are muted on your screen as this will help hugely with the running of the meeting. Anyone present felt to behave, be behaving unacceptably will be ejected from the meeting by the chair. Just a reminder to all that holding virtual meetings is a new approach for the council and therefore we will need to show patience and flexibility while we all get to grips with this meeting format. Thank you very much. And uh, let's begin. So um, agenda item on the top would be the election of the mayor. So could we please have the nominations for the mayor's new mayor? Over to you. I'd like to nominate Rodney Reid. Can I please have a second? I'll second that. Any more nominations, please? Can we begin with the voting then? Georgia? Right, over to me. <laughs> Sorry, I'll, I'll take that. Um, yeah, I'll go through the names and if you could just say for, against or abstain. So it's uh, the motion is for Rodney Reid to be mayor. Yes. So, um, Councillor Nazish Adil? Four. Councillor Dave Argent? If you're on mute, sorry, Dave. Yep. Four. Thanks. Uh, Councillor Liz Borman? Four. Councillor Phil Borman? Four. Councillor Mark Brown? Four. Councillor Jean Cash. Four. Councillor Sylvia Dunn. Unmuted. Unmuted, yeah. Councillor John Edson. Four. Councillor Morag Everden. Four. <laughs> Councillor um, Ali Hader. Four. And Renuma Hader? Four. Councillor Richard Honeyman? Four. Councillor Olivia Honeyman? Four. Councillor Jim Lord? Four. Councillor James Meek? Four. Councillor Richard Morland? Four. Councillor Rodney Reed? Four. Okay. <laughs> you don't watch yourself, do you? <laughs> Just, just testing. Councillor Jeff, <laughs> Jeff Rutland. Four. Councillor Linda Woolraven. Four. And Councillor Bill Webb. 
Very good. That motion was carried. Yay! Congratulations. Can I, can I, can I see you? Yay! Let's have a clap. It's Councillor Reed, can I see you? Can I'm I see here. him? Yeah, well, this belongs to you now. <laughs> How do we get this exchange? Well, I'll take this off anyway. And when it's time to give out, I don't know how it's going to work out, but however. Yeah, Isabel? Um, yeah, I mean, on my screen, he's above you, so you could pass it up. Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> yeah, go on, let's see that one. Come on, Rodney, let's do that. Let's go for it. I'll just put my phone here so everybody can see. Can you see me now? I'm not there sure it comes it's the same out. on other people's screens. I know. This could be difficult for, for a virtual handover. This is very um, difficult. Come on, watch me. It's your Let's first do it. Oh, we're tangled. There we are. Right. So there we go. Bring yourself on, mister. Yeah, there we'll, we are. We'll, we'll arrange to have a handover. We'll, we'll, Yay! We'll, uh, <laughs> Congratulations, Rodney. Really, very physical. happy. Really but, happy for you. Really, really, really. Right, I so I'll keep you on the side. Keep it safe. And now it's time to just hand over our thing for you. And over to you now. So I understand I now need to read the declaration, is that correct? Yes, please. Well, I would just like to preface this by saying thank you all for unanimous support. That is a very helpful thing for me as we begin the year to begin the year to do this together so the um, declaration I was sent or everybody's been sent so I councillor Rodney James Reed having been elected to the office of mayor of Seaford declare that I will take that office upon myself and will duly and faithfully fulfill the duties of it according to the best of my judgment and ability I undertake to observe the code of conduct of Seaford Town Council in the performance of my functions in that office Thank you. And now I'd like to uh, uh, read a, a, a short speech, a short statement in praise of, our, of, our, of, the, previous, of the immediately previous mayor. Further to her time in office as the mayor of Seaford, Seaford Town Council wishes to, wishes to remember and record its gratitude to Councillor Nazisha Dill for her commitment while mayor of Seaford for the 2019-2020 Municipal year. Councillor Adil embraced the role of Mayor of Seaford with such enthusiasm, attending as many events and functions as she could, helping maintain and raise the profile of Seaford Town Council in its local and in neighbouring communities. Councillor Adil hosted many civic events, including two well attended and thoroughly enjoyed Mayor's summer receptions. The Mayor's carol service, however, was a wonderfully memorable evening, with the main focus being on the youth of Seaford by encouraging and inspiring Seaford's young mayors, school children and youth choirs to entertain and be involved in the local community. A huge thank you to the mayor's chaplain, the Reverend Arwen Folks, for her invaluable support in organising and delivering this event and all other support given throughout the year. The council also extends its gratitude to the mayor's consorts. This was a role shared by many of the mayor's friends, colleagues and people in the community of which the mayor wanted to give recognition. They all provided support to the mayor through her mayoral duties over the past year and helped her raise funds for her chosen charities, Down Syndrome Development Trust and the Youth Counselling Project. In addition to the civic aspect of the role, Councillor Adil has carried out her other duties as chair of the council with unswerving devotion and always acted with the council and the town of Seaford's best interests at heart. On this day, 21 May, of the year 2020, Seaford Town Council thank and honour Councillor Nazisha Dill for her service and achievements as the Mayor of Seaford. And I should admit that was a, a speech prepared for me rather than written by me, so thank you to those who wrote it. <laughs> Quiet clapping, but I know everyone is. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> I can you, see them. I can see them. Yeah, yeah, I can. I can see the I, claps. Those claps are for you, Nazish. So, okay, so a deal. That's not not for me. So, um, moving into the agenda now, we move to the uh, election of deputy mayor. Uh, so, um, George, have we been notified of candidates? 
sorry, just unmute myself. I think maybe if you'd like to ask councillors to nominate, if that would be okay to yes, nominate sorry, and then find a seconder. seconder. It's, so, okay. um, who, who, is not, who is nominated and nominated and seconded, please? Okay, so, Councillor Phil Borman has uh, I'd like to. Sorry, that's not. I can't. It's breaking up. So, Councillor Borman, could you say like again? I'd like to nominate Councillor Mark Brown for Deputy Mayor, please. I would like to nominate Councillor Mark Brown. Yes, heard it this time. And there's someone, to, sec someone to second that? Uh, you'll need sorry, to wait, Mr. Like, is it Mr. Mayor we're going to address you as? Is that the right terminology? Is it Mr. Mayor? Is that <laughs> no, is how would you like to be addressed? In these gender neutral days, it might just be Mayor. <laughs> We'll, yeah, we'll, start, we'll start with Mr. Mayor and okay. see how that, we'll see how that works. So I think that um, <laughs> Councillor Brown was, was also seconded by Councillor Argent. Is that right? You may. And, okay, and, and are there, is there any other more dom nominations? Like, Councillor Meeks got his hand up. I'd like to uh, nominate uh, Councillor Jean Cash. And someone to second that? I'll be oh, quite happy. Answer, answer done. Any other nomination? So we, we move to a vote. Uh, um, just to look for guidance from the clerk. So is there any particular order to do this or simply who, whoever was proposed first is voted for first? Yeah, I think I'll take them in, in turn. So I'll take the first proposal um, is uh, Councillor Mark Brown. So if I go down each again if you would just say for against or abstain okay so um councillor nazish adil sorry thank you against am i yeah um councillor dave argent or, uh mark brown so that's four okay councillor liz borman four councillor phil borman four Councillor Mark Brown. Four. Councillor Jean Cash. Councillor Cash, we need a vote. Against. <laughs> Councillor Sylvia Dunn. Against. Councillor John Edson. Four. Councillor Morag Everton. Against. Uh, Councillor Ali Hader. Sorry, Ali Hader. Against. And Renuma Hader. Against. Councillor Richard Honeyman. Against. Councillor Olivia Honeyman. Against. Councillor Jim Lord. For. Councillor James Meek. Against. Councillor Richard Morland. Against. Councillor Rodney Reed. For. Councillor Jeff Rutland. For. Councillor Linda Walraven. For. And Councillor Bill Webb. For. And the totals are? That's a tide. Um, a tied vote, Chairman. So, do we now need to go to the next to the vote on the next candidate, or do yeah. we? we right. Yeah. So the, the the so the proposal is now that <coughs> Councillor Ca uh, sorry, yes, yeah, Councillor Cash be Deputy Mayor. So, if you will, you run through the list again, please. Yeah. Um, Councillor Nazish Adil. Four. Councillor Dave Argent. Against. Councillor Liz Borman. Against. Councillor Phil Borman. Against. Councillor Mark Brown. Against. Councillor Jean Cash. Four. Councillor Sylvia Dunn. Four. Councillor John Edson. Against. Councillor Morag Everden. Four. Councillor Ali Hader. Four. And Councillor Renuma Hader. Four. 
Councillor Richard Honeyman. Four. Councillor Olivia Honeyman. Four. Councillor Jim Lord. Yes. Councillor James Meek. Four. Councillor Richard Morland. Four. Councillor Rodney Reid. Against. Councillor Jeff Rutland. Against. Councillor Linda Woolraven. Against. Councillor Bill Webb. Against. <laughs> And that's tied. That's a tie. Uh, I, I, I would like unusually to ask for a comment from Councillor Brown at this point. Um, yes, um, I'd like to take this job on because I want to see the council get back to where it was um, before the last council elections and I fully support all the actions taken by the current elected mayor. Uh, and I promise to do my best for the people in Seaford, which is what I was elected to do. Thank you very much. So it comes down to a casting vote. I vote for Councillor Dunn. Okay, sorry, I vote for Councillor Cash, sorry. I vote for Councillor Cash. Okay, so that motion is carried that um, Councillor Cash is the Deputy Mayor of Seaford. Thank you. Now we come down to item four, and apologies for absence. There's been no apologies received, and everyone's here. So we come to item five, uh, to discl disclose interest, to deal with any disclosure by members of any disclosable pecuniary interests and any interests or other, other than pecuniary interests, as defined under the Seaford Town Council Code of Conduct and the Localism Act 2011 in relation to matters on the agenda. Are there any such disclosures? No, I see, I see nobody saying that. Um, we come to item six, and this is where we have an opportunity for public participation. Uh, I think as we go through the meeting, it will be useful to have the chat option in use. So if someone wants to speak, so we get whether it's gonna be councillors later in resolutions or here in the public participation area, so we can recognise people to speak in the order they ask, as well as raising a hand. It's, put, it's also safe to uh, put that comment into chat. So um, as um, uh, the previous chair said, um, there's a four minute limit. So who from the, um, from the public would like to participate in this meeting? Uh, I see a hand from Penny Lauer. If you'd like to unmute yourself. I think you're still muted. What? Is that okay? That's good. Um, I'd like to make um, just a, a representation, please, on the meeting itself. Um, I, I, I realise now that there's no public participation at the very beginning of the, the meeting, which would have been very useful for what I have to say. But obviously, we, we've gone past the election now of the mayor and the deputy mayor. So I'm just going to read out a statement um, about the, me the meeting and the forthcoming year, if that's okay. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'd like to commend councillors for voting to hold this annual meeting, providing the opportunity for new appointments and different approaches to council business. Anyone with an interest in the operation of the council and those of us who follow full council and committee meetings are aware that the past year has not been an easy one. The efficiency and goodwill evident in the previous four years, most of the time I have to say, has been lost. I feel sorry for the newly elected councillors who I'm sure did not expect such a discordant and difficult experience. Even more, I sympathise with the excellent officers and staff of SDC who have had to weather the year and maintain services in an often less than pleasant atmosphere. I urge councillors to draw on good practice from the past and, and most importantly, consider their duty of care to the STC officers and staff. They have a wealth. I, I, sorry, I heard you say we have, you, they have a wealth of, and that was the end, last thing I heard you say. The wealth of knowledge and experience of council, running councils. <laughs> Uh, thank you. I think the, it's a point we hear, 
And I think we should, both Councillor Cash and myself would want to say at this stage that we are pleased to be in a, in a pairing that we hope will show a way forward for the council in terms of uh, cooperative working across the council chamber. So I don't know, don't know whether Councillor Cash would like to react to that. Many of us want a new start, we want to move forward as a council, we want to work for Seaford because that's what everyone here tonight came on the council for. It's not a happy year behind us and I think if we work together in the next year we'll have a happier council, we're going to have a difficult year I think financially anyway because of the circumstances and I think we're all ready really to work together to for the good of Seaford and I hope uh, by working with Rodney and sitting beside him at council meetings we can be a symbol that we are going to work together. Thank you. Uh, do either of the officers or any, any of the officers want to, want to respond? Don't have to, can if you want to. No, there's not much head shaking. So um, Penny, Lara, we thank you for contributing and we understood the, the, um, the merit, merit in your words. So thank you for that. So anyone else from the public gallery want to speak? No, um, I think there's one person muted, uh, but I, I don't, let me just check in the chat room to make sure there's nobody else. No, I don't, I don't see any messages of anybody else wanting to speak from the, uh, from the public gallery. So we now move on, move on to item seven. Uh, there's no report for item seven, but I know that um, our uh, assistant clerk wants to make a, 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 verbal, a verbal update about this. Yes, um, and actually James, um, who was the young mayor, is, has come to the meeting. So I might also hand over to you, James, if you're happy. Um, but I just wanted to explain that um, before the schools closed, unfortunately, we were unable to um, elect a deputy young mayor. So what would usually happen is that the deputy young mayor from the previous year would take on the young mayor role, which Chanel has done, uh, but we can't really send her forward without a deputy because then it wouldn't work for the previous, uh, for the next year, sorry. Um, but what James has um, kindly agreed to do is to be her deputy um, to support her through her first sort of few months until we know what's going on and, and how the role will shape over the next year. Um, and I know that Chanel's got some really good ideas um, for raising money. Her chosen charity is the um, Kent and Sussex Air Ambulance and she's going to be doing some nice sort of presentation work for um, the virtual town forum that we want to put together. So that's all the update on that and I just wonder if um, Chair you might like to invite the previous young mayor James to maybe just say hello or goodbye or, or whatever. He, he might have had something planned so if you hand over maybe. Yes, I'd be very happy to have our, our outgoing young mayor and incoming deputy young mayor to um, uh, talk to us about what, how you've seen things in your year and what do you think will happen going forward. Thank you very much. Well, um, hello everyone. I uh, hope you're all well and healthy. Uh, it's been a while since we uh, last did one of these, so I will recap from mid-January, uh, which was just after my first quiz night. Uh, by this time, I had raised roughly £1,080, and that was from Christmas Magic and my first quiz night. In February, uh, plans for the school and non-school uniform day, uh, they went through, and we raised £435 from that. Um, shortly after, in March, uh, Chanel, the Mayor, and I attended the Rotary Young Musician Competition, which I must say was very entertaining. Um, I'm sure we can all agree on that. Um, as well as that, we also attended the uh, Rotary Young Writers Competition, uh, to present certificates to all the students participating. The last event in my term was my second quiz night. Uh, despite us being in the early stages of the COVID-19 restrictions though, we managed to raise £300 and an additional £70 through extra donations. Um, unfortunately, the funding I applied for from the National Lottery Fund was declined and this was due to new projects taking priority in the COVID-19 crisis. Um, but this brings the total up to £1,890 out of the £2,000 target. Uh, I've made a separate video talking about my whole term as young mayor and addressing my chosen nominee for the Community Award. Outside of school, I was recently elected uh, as the UK Youth Parliament member for Eastbourne and Coastal via the Youth Cabinet. So I'll be extending my work on protecting the environment uh, as well as keeping Seaford to the fore. Most other things that were going, uh, that were going on or going to be planned in my term have been cancelled so that brings an end to my fundraising uh, but I am happy to have raised what I have 
Uh, and I would like to take this opportunity to thank everyone that has helped me and supported me in any way throughout my term. Um, I wouldn't have raised anywhere near the amount of money. Uh, I've had so much help. So honestly, thank you so much for everything that, any, uh, that everyone's done. Um, that's pretty much all I think I have to say for now. But if you do have any questions, please feel free to ask me now. Or if you want to ask me after the meeting, then that is fine. Thank you. The, I've already seen messages popping up to congratulate you for how well you've done. So I think a, a round of applause yes. for that. Thank you. <laughs> and also, um, yes, yeah, so a, a very good year. Uh, clearly a cut short because of things beyond everybody's control. Uh, you mentioned a video, and I think we might be able to, able to make that available to all the councillors, um, either as part of a Zoom or maybe, is it something that could be on the council's website? Well, um, it's, it's the video, James has done a video um, to be included in the virtual town forum that we've started to sort of plan. So because the town forum, um, we can't actually have the town forum virtually, like we can have this meeting virtually, but we're hoping to do um, a virtual town forum presentation evening. So we can still have, um, you know, the outgoing mayor can still have her awards and um, just, just so that we're, we're able to continue the nice bit, you know, the presentations and the awards giving. So that's part of what, that's James's presentation will be part of that event. So that will be available on our social media and on our website. Hmm. So James, that's, that's an offer there. So um, there's an opportunity to do that. Um, we can have a, maybe a couple of questions. Do you have any, anybody with a question for the young mayor? If you wave at me, I can see you're moving. If you don't wave, it's difficult to pick up who's, um, who wants to say something. Any questions? Uh, yes, Councillor Honeyman. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Congratulations on your appointment. Um, to the, to the, the outgoing young, young mayor, can you explain a little bit more about this musician? That sounded very interesting. And also a little bit about your, is that the East, East Sussex Youth Cabinet you're going on to? Um, right, so uh, I'll start off with your first point. So we attended the Rotary Young Musician Competition, which was held uh, sometime mid-March. Uh, Chanel, the mayor, and I attended, and it was people for young younger people from all different schools around the area uh, coming together there were soloists there were groups and it was actually really entertaining you know you had um lots of people playing instruments singing it was it was like a little britain's got talent put it that way so yeah it was really nice um lots of like met lots of people and all that so uh that was definitely a really good event to go to um and about the east sussex youth cabinet so uh, i was elected for that back in october and since then we had this whole coronavirus, so we've been doing all our work uh, online now. But recently in probably about March, we had the election for the UK Youth Parliament. Um, so I went up to represent Eastbourne and Coastal in the, election, in the election, and I won that. And so we are now looking at ways to try and carry that out virtually because we can't meet up in London and things how we would normally. Um, but yes, hopefully I answered your questions. Thank you for that. Yes, I, I, hope, I hope eventually you may be able to go to London when, when, when uh, maybe it'll be in half a video or whatever, of, even if it's said 2021, to, if you've never been around Parliament, it's a very fascinating place. Thank you very much. Thank you okay. very much. Thank you. Thank you. We can be ready to move on. Um, can I just check? Everyone has just seen the, um, the chat from, uh, from Georgia to test the chat is working. I, can, I know it's there because I know it's working. Can you just look at your chat? Uh, you'll see there, there are two chats in there, uh, but um, can just make sure we can use it because come, when we come to um, an, an amount of voting, it'll be better if we've actually got a, a schedule to follow through. So you can either respond as Councillor Evidence just done hello to everyone or just check you know how to do it. So that's that. Um, before we move on to item eight, um, it was put to me well, no, it was, it was put generally uh, that we want to be part of the, um, the clap for the nation at eight o'clock for our health uh, and care and service workers. And the thought is that either we could um, do the clap in this, in this, in this meeting, but with the, um, with the audio on, otherwise we look like seals practicing. Or if people want to do what they usually do, we could take a 10 minute recess. People could go outside to clap where you normally clap and then come back in. So um, just to make this as quick as possible, uh, two options. Hands up if you want to stay in the meeting and clap. Well, there's not many people, uh, not, 
No, there's not many doing that. If you, if you want to go outside to clap, I think there's, I think roughly there's more to go outside. But I think, that, well, okay, what we'll do then, those, those who want to stay can stay and we'll clap at eight. But I think we'll call a, a halt, uh, an adjournment at five to eight. Then people who want to go outside can clap. And then we'll begin again at five past. But I think the important thing is, please don't, turn off your zoom when you go outside that's whatever happens keep logged in otherwise it may be complicated when we try to get back to restart so we will have, we'll take a we'll have a short break at five to eight and we'll recommence at five past okay so moving on to item eight now and if somebody else could keep an eye on the clock just so i don't miss five to eight um, okay we're moving on to item eight um, georgia do you want to say something about the list you emailed around today Yes, sorry. Okay, so um, yeah, I sent round a list to all councillors just setting out the requests that we'd had for changes to committee placements. Um, we have had a couple more come in since that list was issued. So the plan is that I'll share a screen with you so you, hopefully you can see um, that on your screen and then we can just talk through that as we go through the item. Um, obviously it doesn't mean that there can't be any further requests at the meeting tonight. It's just this has been done in advance just to try and help um, things run a bit more smoothly tonight at the meeting. So I will just share my screen with you. So hopefully everyone should see this in a minute. Sorry, I'll just get this up. There we go. So that's I just say I'll, I'll leave this item with with um, with Georgia for now, rather than uh, you can you can lead us through it. I think. Yeah, I mean it's um, so on this on the screen as it is, we've got the um, current membership that was in place for the 2019-2020 year, and then it's also showing the 2020-21. 2021, sorry, <laughs> um, proposed committee members. The ones in red are where there's changes from last year, just to try and make it a bit clearer. Um, and then at the bottom of each committee as well, we've got showing the amount of vacancies still on a committee. So as you can see, um, I put planning and highways wrong. There's actually four vacancies on planning and highways, and there's one on Gulf and the View still. And then underneath that, there's also a little section on each committee called contesting requests. So that's where we've had more than one person want to stand for a particular position would either be chair or vice chair so as we go through we will have to take votes um, assuming that those people still want to stand in those positions um, but this is it as it stands so obviously if any councillors want to make any further amendments to that you know please gesture in the ch chat box that you're looking to speak and then the chair can ask for you to speak but I think I'll hand over I think Izzy was going to take the meeting through the actual voting and I'll make any updates to the form that's needed just so it can be quite clear what we're doing. Yeah, I, I think it, this bit was obviously there's quite a lot of committees and there's a lot of um, things we need to do. So I think if we were to go through each committee um, separately talking about the membership of that committee um, and, and hopefully um, get to a consensus on the committee membership first, and then if we are at a consensus, get to a point where we actually um, vote on the committee membership on block, because there's obviously so many of them, and then we'll take the chair and vice chair positions next. Um, if everyone is happy, if anything doesn't make sense, just um, obviously say. Um, so if we look at the Finance and General Purposes Committee to start with, sorry, my screen's gone a bit funny. Okay. Um, I can see, so we've got on my list, I didn't have Dave Argent. So at the moment, we yes, we've got one more, um, what, an additional person for that um, committee. So obviously the people that have put themselves forward, we've got Rodney Reed and Dave Argent. Yeah, I mean, if I could just jump in, so I think mm. it's fine, obviously, that we could, the council could look to increase the size of that committee, couldn't they? So we could increase that committee to 11 members and then both Councillor Reid and Councillor Argent can join the committee. Um, there's no problem with increasing a committee by one place. 
So if the council's minded to do that. Yeah, mm -hmm. or if anyone yeah. at this point now seeing it there wanted to obviously not be on that committee having now seen it, um, then there's also that option as well. Now my problem at the moment, I've, I can only see four um, videos on my <laughs> So if anybody yeah. wants to vote, I think you need to put up, I can see Councillor Dunn uh, wants to vote, yeah. anybody else, so I can't see no, where you, want, you need to I, use the chat room, please. I'd like to change the screen back to how it was and take off this, because we've all got a copy of it, haven't we? We've all got... No, all... this is new, Sylvia. Sorry? This is slightly different, I think. Mm. I think this is an updated one, Sylvia. Yeah, yeah but I've got it here. I've already updated it on my own copy. I just oh, put it to be back around. to the screen where we can see everybody. If we can't see everybody. See everyone. I think it's a, I think it's, it, would, it would help me to be able to see everybody. So I think we, yes. we, we could perhaps pop in and pop That's out. It. But I think That's we it. switch between screens as we need to. So I think we ask Georgia to be ready to show us a particular a particular committee again if we need to. Well, yeah. um, Georgia, if you're happy, if we if we're going to go, back, if we are going to take each committee in turn, then um, mm -hmm. Georgia, if you could just say if there are, are if there are any changges that you know, and then we can obviously bear that in mind when we're looking. Um, yeah. So, so yeah. So so with the finance and general purposes committee, we are we're in a position where we we could either look to increase the committee, um, or it's whether anyone wishes to stand down. So. So really, the chair, if you wanted to ask Richard, Mo Miss Richard Moreland, is it um, indicating? Uh, Councillor Brown is indicating to speak. Uh, uh, please do use the chat room. If I, if I miss somebody, then I, I look at one and miss someone else. So Councillor Brown first, and then I think for Councillor Honeyman. Councillor mm -hmm. Brown. Uh, yes, I'd like to propose that we increase the committee to 11 and accept the names as they're shown on the list. Okay, thank you, Councillor Honeyman. Richard Honeyman. You're muted. I'm sorry, it was um, it was um, Councillor Morland. Um, I'd like to second that proposal. Second, second, uh, uh, it stays as it is. Does second anybody have? Uh, 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 sorry, yeah. We, the, the the second what has just been proposed that to increase the number up to eleven. Yes. yes. Are we all in agreement? I think we'll have a hands up for this. That's I think that's everybody. Okay. Thank you. Next one. Okay, so community services. Um, so that was that's only really one change that's come through. That has that changed, Georgia? No, that's as it was um, when it was issued earlier, with the exception of the chair and vice chair. But obviously, we're not discussing them at the moment. So, so that would be a membership change from Councillor Rodney Reed to Councillor Phil Borman, and then the rest of the members stay the same. Yeah. I think that's not. Um, yeah, that's. Uh, uh, that's as it is. So, so everybody content with that? Hands up. Sorry, okay. can you repeat that, please? Say again. Can you repeat that, please? Right. The, the question. The question is: Committee Services Committee. No, sorry. Which where are we at? Committee. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Committee Services. It was Community Services. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the community Services. The number stays the same, but. Phil Borman takes over the seat that I vacate. Right, I'd like to propose Phil, Phil Borman as chair. No, we're not going that I'm way yet. Oh, we're, going for, we're simply going for membership. We're not going for chairs yet, just membership for now. So, okay, I think that membership's agreed. Okay, let's move on. Um, so, so, planning and highways. There is a slight change on that one. So, Councillor Adil is standing down from that committee. Um, and we've got Councillor Argent looking to join the committee. But just one point to stress here is that we have only got six members on that committee as it stands. And really, if there is anyone else that's able to um, step forward to stand on the planning committee, that would be useful. I know that at times the committee has struggled to be quorum. Um, sorry, I can see, Chair, you've got a couple of councillors looking to come in. One of the councillors, Borman, wants to speak. I'm not quite sure which one. <laughs> Um, I'll put my name forward to stand on the Planning and Highways Committee. Please. And I've, I've got an indication, uh, let me just check anybody else in the chat room. I've got an indication from Linda. Uh, that kind of Walraven, sorry. Yes, yeah. Walraven. Uh, thank you. Uh, yes, um, we've been short on this committee for the last 12 months. Uh, <clears throat> and there's been a couple of 
more well, more than a couple of occasions where we've only just met the quorum on on a meeting, especially when people you know are either of sick or they're all on holiday or something, and it is important for this uh, for these uh, vacancies to be filled. Very important. Um, Councillor Meek. Um, I'm I'm prepared to stand on the on that committee if um, you'd like to have me. I don't see any any anybody saying they'd rather you didn't go on that. I think it's a, it's you're filling a very necessary role there. <laughs> Anyone else? So is he is as well? Are we okay now with? The, yeah. With so the, I think uh, there's this one vacancy. I think just the other thing to add um, to that um, is that there are obviously. Um, quite a lot of meetings for the planning and highways, which is, could be quite difficult for some of you. Um, but there is also the option to subsidise or um, get a substitute to cover you if you say couldn't attend one of the meetings. So just just like to bear in mind. Um, that's what I'd add that in there, just in case yeah, that, I can't persuade anymore. <laughs> I think that's a point worth emphasising in terms of you know, the ability to nominate substitutes in in in, in our place. So it's it, a good thing to keep committees functioning on that basis. Uh, again, okay, next one. Okay, um, so if we move on to the Golf and Review Committee, um, I can't see that there was any changes for that one. There's just one vacancy. So if this, if, if a councillor would like to come forward to join that committee. So anyway, anyone want to offer to join the um, the Golf and Review Committee? Now, Councillor Rutland is either scratching his nose or just volunteered. I'm not quite sure which. Then Councillor Phil Borman also raised his I hand. I was putting my glasses up a bit. There's <laughs> <laughs> Argent is indicating to speak. With the microphone on. Or, or join the golf committee. Thank you. Anybody, any, any other offers? No, I think we have a full committee then. Yes? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Next. Ooh. Sorry. And do keep your eye on the chat room if you if you wanted to to be involved. Okay, moving on to um. It's the personnel. Sorry, so personnel committee. Um. So unless anything's changed, Georgia. Um. um we've yeah. got two additional people requesting to join that committee. So Councillor Argent and Councillor Reed, and that would increase the committee to seven members from six. But again, of course, that, that there's no reason for the council not to increase that committee if it would like to. I think, um, you know, it's quite an important committee. And again, the more members it has, the more we can be sure to make quora and have a good number of councillors involved in the business it deals with. Yeah. So I think that's a proposal then. That we increase the council, the personal committee by one so that everybody who's offered for it gets a place. Can you mm -hmm. show, show of hands for that? Yeah. Anybody not in favour of that? No, that's, uh, yeah, that's uh, Councillor Dunn, I think, wants to speak. Oh, no, I was just going to second it. I was going to second that proposal. <laughs> OK, that's through then. OK, moving on. The grievance and disciplinary, um, I, there was no changes on my sheet and George is shaking yeah. her head. So um, that's just to stay as is, if agreed. So we're all content with that? Yes? Uh, yeah. Right. Okay, the last of the um, last of the committees. So that's the appeals. Just to note, sorry, um, we would usually do appeals at the end as the last item of business, if that's all right, just to make sure that um, yeah, yeah, no one's yeah. doubling up no and people over. are happy. Yeah. Oh, yes, and th and there's also a point to make that a couple of the committees have got, if you like, unfinished business, and we'll need to keep constant, consistent membership until that's done, and appeals is one of them, for example. Mm. Yeah. So, um, do we need? So, we're asking for other councillors. To, well, how many councillors are available for the appeals committee because they've not been involved in anything that would lead up to an appeal? We do that. Do you mean right at the end, Georgia? We'll keep that right at the end of this yeah. item. So, yeah. if we do, if we go on to that um, when we finish the appointment of chairs and vice chairs and the rest of the okay. recommendations. So, um, note the time because it's yeah, no, I've got an alarm. Then. Yeah, <laughs> in fact, my alarm's my alarm's about to go off, so it might actually be sorry, chair, quite a good time to. Yeah, I think this is a good time to take a break. So, um, um, 
So what's going on in the last 10 minutes has just been chat. So that, that last 10 minutes haven't been council meeting. We now reopen the council meeting. So all of the things that were said at the beginning of the meeting <coughs> again. And uh, Isabel, will you take us back to the committees? Yeah. And now we're moving to uh, chair and vice chairs. Yeah. So, sorry, take a look. So now if we go back to each committee in turn. So the Finance and General Purposes Committee um, I don't see, unless there's any changes, Georgia, that there are any no. contests. No. So, um, proposed at the moment is that Councillor Brown um, stays as chair and that um, Councillor Moreland remains as vice chair. So that's the proposal. Does anybody have a counter proposal to that? Nope, nobody. Uh, there's somebody in the chat room at the moment. Not anymore. But, uh, no, that was just about the town crier. So okay, we're so we're content with that as it's that F and G P chair and vice chair as it stands. Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, Councillor, oh, okay, there's hands up. Um, I thought Councillor Argent first, followed by Councillor Dunn. Councillor Argent. You're muted. Mute. <laughs> All right. Councillor Argent. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now you're talking, yes. Yeah, of oh, course, cool, cool. yes, it's, it took me by surprise. Yes, I, I, I'm in agreement. In agreement. Thank yeah. you, thank you, Councillor Argent. Councillor Dunn? I was just gonna, if we needed a, a second, I was gonna just second that proposal. So if I think we're all, we're all in favour of that. So a show of hands, just to be clear about that. Yeah, show of hands. Show of hands. <laughs> Anybody against? All right, that's agreed. Okay, that's F and GP. Next we move to? Um, okay, so next we've got community services. Um, so at the moment we've got two proposals, unless that's changed, Georgia, for the chair of community services. Um, we've got Councillor Phil Borman and Councillor Sylvia Dunn, unless there's been anything further. No, there's um, an addition with the vice chair, but with the chair it's just those two at the moment. So we need to vote on those two in... in, in the order that any particular order no we need someone to propose it okay let's have a proposal for counts, uh, counts, uh, who's who's the sitting chair at the moment that's um councillor dunn. Dunn. dunn okay let's start with it who will propose councillor dunn councillor meek seconded by councillor moreland um who will propose councillor um councillor borman i'll propose councillor brown Councillor Webb, um, Councillor Argent. So we move to a vote. So um, okay. So um, so this is the the first vote. Um, the proposal of um, sorry, um, Councillor Sylvia Dunn. So Councillor Nazish Adil. Uh, four. Councillor Dave Argent. Four. Councillor Liz Borman. Against. Councillor Phil Borman. Against. Councillor Mark Brown. Against. Councillor Jean Cash. Mute. Sorry, Georgia, could you just want to clarify that Councillor Argent understood what the question was, because I think he's not understood what we're voting for. So, so the, the motion is that Councillor Dunn be Chair of Community Services. Yes, that was the motion. Yeah. Yeah, Councillor okay, so, okay, so Argent is nodding. Okay, keep, I'll keep going through the list then. So sorry, Councillor Jean Cash. I can see you're saying four. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, I could read your lips, but um, Councillor Sylvia Dunn. Four. Councillor John Edson. Against. Councillor Morag Everdon. Four. Councillor Ali Hader. Four. Uh, Councillor Renuma Hader. Four. Councillor Richard Honeyman. Four. Councillor Olivia Honeyman. Four. Councillor Jim Lord. Against. Councillor James Meek. Four. Councillor Richard Morland. Four. 
Councillor Rodney Reid. Against. Councillor Jeff Rutland. Against. Councillor Linda Woolraven. Thanks. And Councillor Bill Webb. Thanks. And the totals? Um, that's carried. Carried. So what happens to the vote for Councillor Borman then? Nothing. Nothing. Does it get taken? No, that's that. That's been carried. That first proposal. Yeah, but if. The, hmm. I'm just wondering now about the whether we should have put the. Yeah, 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 I'll take take the advice of the, uh, yeah, of the assistant clerk. But if you say we can't put another one, then that's carried. But it seems unfair. If, it, not may, if I, yeah, no, I'm I'm happy to take advice on that. And what about a vice chairman for, for Councillor Borman? Well, I'd, I'd still like to resolve whether we should be voting about Councillor Borman being chair. If I could maybe just jump in, I mean, we've taken the proposals in the order that they were made um, and the first proposal has been voted on and the council has agreed. Councillor Argent, can we just clarify, Councillor Argent proposed me for chair and has voted against. That's why I'm asking whether or not he mis he uh, misvoted. Uh, yes, I'm sorry, yeah. I got it wrong. Yeah, it's, that's what I tried to see. So can we just redo that schedule again, please, of votes? Yeah. Because that's why I asked because uh, Council, that's, yeah, that's why I asked I originally and I think Council Argent misunderstood what was being said. Yes. Uh, that's, but a vote has been taken. The question is should we re vote again? Um, and uh, I think Councillor Borman saying that it's not a valid vote because there was a mistake made in the voting process. Yeah. Uh, back to our assistant, cl acting cl assistant clerk, what's the advice? Um, I, I would be happy to go through that again if it's that there's felt there was a mistake. I could yes. read through the names again and if everyone could clearly say whether they were for or against for that particular motion. Right, I think that that's what we have to do then. Okay. Um, right, so, so we start the process again and my view was that because Councillor Dunn was the sitting person that she would, she would, she would be put first. Okay. So we're going so to go just, through it again. To, yeah, sorry. just sorry, just to clarify. So this motion... Um, at the moment that's on the table is for Councillor Sylvia Dunn to be the Chairman of Community Services. So you're yes. voting for, against, or you're abstain abstaining. So I'll, I will read through the names again and if you could unmute yourselves and say for, against, or abstain. Mm -hmm. So Councillor Nazish Adil. Uh, I've, had, I've seen a chat from Councillor Meek to say can we put the motion in the chat? Um, that can be done. It's as it's, it's, it's simple as should councillor dunn be the chair of community services yes or no and then we would put should councillor borman be the chair of community services yes or no um so councillor meek do you still want to see that in the uh, in the chat i've, I've put it in there sorry just oh, okay it's it, right it's in the chat right let's uh, you lead us through again okay so um councillor nazish adil for councillor dave argent against Councillor Liz Borman. Against. Councillor Phil Borman. Against. Councillor Mark Brown. Against. Sorry, I didn't hear you clearly. Against. Councillor Jean Cash. For. Councillor Sylvia Dunn. For. Councillor John Edson. Against. Councillor Morag Everden. For. Councillor Mohammed um, Hader. Four. Renew Mahada. Four. Councillor Richard Honeyman. Four. Councillor Olivia Honeyman. Four. Councillor Jim Lord. No. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, Phil Bolton, yeah. No. no. Re oh, I forgot to get it in my Yeah, we're re voting. Let's be clear that the, the vote is are you in favour of Councillor Dunn being chair? No. Okay. Yes. <laughs> God, sir, how many times you'll do one thing? Right, Councillor James Meek. Four. Councillor Richard Morland. Four. Councillor Rodney Reed. Against. Councillor Jeff Rutland. Against. Councillor Linda Woolraven. Against. Councillor Bill Webb. Against. So that's a tied vote. Right, so now we go to vote for Councillor Borman. 
as chair. Okay. I think you've got Olivia Honeyman looking to speak. Oh, possibly. sorry. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. I just want to check my vote got counted because you went over it very quickly. Yes, yeah, sorry. Yeah, I've got your vote as four. Thank you. So there's a, a second message in there at the moment. Um, I don't know. Okay. Right. Okay. We'll go through the through for this one is the vote is it, it, whether Councillor Borman, Councillor Phil Borman, will be chair of community services. Yes. And Georgia, could you pop that in the chat yeah. function? Yes, what, there, sorry. Thank you. Everybody okay. clear what we're voting for? Let's vote. Okay. Um, Councillor Nazish Adil. Against. Councillor Dave Argent. For. Councillor Liz Borman. For. Councillor Phil Borman. For. Councillor Mark Brown. For. Councillor Jean Cash. Against. Councillor Sylvia Dunn. Against. Councillor John Edson. For. Councillor Morag Everdon. Against. Councillor Ali Hader. Against. Councillor Renew Hader. Against. Councillor Richard Honeyman. Against. Councillor Olivia Honeyman. Against. Sorry, I feel like someone's speaking at the same time. Yeah, I've just muted um, um, a couple of councillors. Okay, sorry. Um, sorry, Councillor Olivia Honeyman. Against. Councillor Jim Lord. For. Councillor James Meek. Against. Councillor Richard Morland. Against. Councillor Rodney Reid. For. Councillor Jeff Rutland. For. Councillor Linda Walraven. For. And Councillor Bill Webb. For. That's a tied vote. So it goes to you, Chair, as um, you present me with, a, with a, an almost impossible position in terms of the first meeting. Is it possible that we can have joint chairs rather than to have a, a chair and a vice chair? It's not. Uh, it wouldn't be able to be done. Would either candidate like to withdraw? No. Nope. This is um, a completely difficult situation. Could we appoint chairs for half years to serve two half years? Not, it's, it would make it very difficult. It, it, that sort of thing would make it very difficult for that committee for that year. It's not advisable. What you could say maybe is that whoever wasn't the um, appointed as chair could stand as vice chair. I mean, we do have two councillors already standing, so it would mean you had three standing as vice chair. Um, but I think, as Isabel said, you you can't share the role of chair, really. OK, looking for a, a logical way of doing this. My view is that because Councillor Dunn is the sitting chair, she should continue. She's not been replaced. So I would vote for Councillor Dunn. Thank you, I appreciate that. Now, Vice Chair. Uh, so I Thanks. see there's something, there's something in a chat. Oh, no, that was the, the previous one. Vice Chair, who do we have as proposals? George, I think you've got some additional. Yes, we've got an update on the list that was sent round to councillors earlier. So we've now got two councillors standing for Vice Chair of Community Services, being Councillor James Meek and Councillor Linda Woolraven. And so think, uh, do we have a proposer and seconder for both of those? So who's proposing Councillor Meek? I am, Jean Cash. Uh, who's seconding Councillor Meek? I'll, I'll second, second that. Councillor Dunn, who's proposing Councillor Walraven? I will. Uh, uh, Councillor Liz Borman, who's seconding uh, um, Councillor John Edson. All right, we move to a vote. Um, um, Given that Linda Walraven is currently the chair, a uh, vice chair, I think we'll press, being logical, we'll put her first and then um, go to vote between the two. Um, so if we call the first vote then for Councillor Walraven. Councillor Walraven. Councillor Walraven. Councillor Walraven. Councillor Walraven. 
Okay. <coughs> Councillor Nazisha Dill. Against. Councillor Dave Argent. For. Um, Councillor Liz Borman. For. Councillor Phil Borman. For. Councillor Mark Brown. For. Councillor Jean Cash. Against. Councillor Sylvia Dunn. Against. Councillor John Edson. For. Councillor Morag Everden. Against. Councillor Ali Hader. Against. Councillor Renew Mahader. Against. Councillor Richard Honeyman. Against. Councillor Olivia Honeyman. Against. Councillor Jim Lord. For. Councillor James Meek. Against. Councillor Richard Morland. Against. Councillor Rodney Reid. For. Councillor Jeff Rutland. For. Councillor Linda Walraven. For. Councillor Bill Webb. For. Who's Bill? I can't see it. Do it. That's tied. <laughs> really up making this thing, these things easy. Uh, we move to the, um, pro the proposal now is for Councillor Meek as Vice Chair. Yes? Let me just take a sip of my drink a minute. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Councillor Nazish Adil. Uh, sorry, are we doing it for or against? Um, so it's this proposal is for um, Councillor Meek. Councillor Meek. For. Councillor Dave Argent. Against. Councillor Liz Borman. Against. Councillor Phil Borman. Against. Councillor Mark Brown. Against. Councillor Jean Cash. For. Councillor Sylvia Dunn. For. Councillor John Edson. Against. Councillor Morag Everton. For. Councillor Ali Hader. For. Councillor Renum Hader. For. Councillor Richard Honeyman. For. Councillor Olivia Honeyman. For. Councillor Jim Lord. Against. Councillor James Meek. For. Councillor Richard Morland. For. Councillor Rodney Reid. Against. Councillor Jeff Rutland. Against. Councillor Linda Walraven. Thanks. Councillor Bill Webb. Okay. It's tied. So using the same logic I used last time, I, I, my view is that the person who's in the role now continues in it. They've not been displaced. So that gave, puts Councillor Warraven there. Excellent. Well done, Linda. Excellent. Okay. Okay, we move on. <laughs> So we're moving on to um, planning and highways um, and unless anything's changed um, it looks like the standing chair and vice chair are currently proposed. Yeah that's right yeah. So we can have a joint proposal for that the chair and the vice chair be put back in place. Someone to propose that. Councillor Edson, someone to second that. One wave, Councillor Borman. Um, okay, let's put that to the vote. That the chair and the vice chair, as now, continue into into the uh, into the coming year. So, call the vote for that, please. Na uh, by name. Oh, you want me to call it? I just want to make sure that we've got we've it's been proposed and seconded that they continue, but we need to make sure that that's what the council want to do. Okay. Um, so. Point of order, Chair. We can because it's all agreed and there's no contest. We could just do a show of hands. Yeah. Mm. Yes, we could do that. Everyone content with that? Yes. Everybody's waving. Okay, we'll go by show of hands. Thank so you. They're, they're voting on that the existing pair stay into the, into the coming, into the year, the year we're now in. Those in favour, hands up, please. <laughs> Any against? No, that's carried. Right. We move on. Okay, so the next is the Golf and the View. 
we have got a slight change to this one um, with the chair position, sorry. So we've got two councillors standing as chair of Gulf and the View. You've got councillors Mark Brown and councillor Richard, Richard Honeyman, uh, sorry, Richard Morland, sorry. So that was for the chair. That's for yeah. the chair, yeah. Okay. Right, so this would be a change. So the chair, this would be a proposal is that it's, um, we go from the view. I, I see that um, Councillor Webb is proposed as vice chair, and then Councillor Brown moved from vice chair to chair. Is that? Um, and then the addition. So um, since then, another proposal has come in for um, Councillor Richard Morland to also be chair. So I think we take those two proposals as we have the others. Right, so, so okay, we're, got, we're going to vote on the. Um, You've got. This. We need. The proposal for, for each of those. So the, we've got, we need a proposal for Mark Brown and a proposal for Richard Morland. Yes. So <laughs> Mark Brown is proposed by who? I'll propose Mark Brown. Okay, so Ruth, and I'll propose. We'll, we'll second Mark Brown. And Councillor no, Morland is proposed I'll by propose, Dunn. I'll propose Richard Morland, Councillor Morland. Uh, Councillor Dunn, who seconds that? I second that. So, Olivia Honeyman. So we so we have um, who, who's currently the chair of Golf and the View? It's uh, vacant. So Mark Brown was the vice chair. Right. Um. I think I, I'm trying to I'm trying to keep some logic going while there's this kind of um, casting vote in view. I think I would still go on the basis of the logic I've used so far that whoever is in place has to be displaced. Though I'm hoping we don't keep having these tied votes, but I really do. So the proposal then is that um, Councillor Brown become chair of the Gol Golf and the View. Okay. Do you, do you want that in writing? Is that is, is everybody clear what that is? Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, you're clear. Or yes, you want it in writing. Oh, yes. <laughs> no, yes, we're yeah. clear. clear. Okay, so we, we've got the proposals on the table, we've got the proposer and seconder, so I'm going to move on to read out the yes. vote. Okay? Yes. So, um, Councillor Nazish Adil. For Councillor Brown, against. Mm -hmm. Okay. Councillor Dave Argent. You're muted. You're muted. Oh, Mark, Mark Brown. Okay. Councillor Liz Borman. So Mark Brown. So can we go back to four against or abstain? So you're voting for against or abstaining Councillor Mark Brown as chair four. as well from the view. So the next person's Councillor Phil Borman. Four Councillor Brown. Councillor Mark Brown. Four. Councillor Jean Cash. Against. Councillor Sylvia Dunn. Against. Councillor John Edson. Uh, Councillor Morag Everden. Against. Councillor Ali Hader. Against. Councillor Renuma Hader. Against. Councillor Richard Honeyman. Against. Councillor Olivia Honeyman. Against. Councillor Jim Lord. Uh, Councillor James Meek. Against. Councillor Richard Morland. Against. Councillor Rodney Reid. Four. Councillor Jeff Rutland. Four. Councillor Linda Woolraven. Four. Councillor Bill Webb. Four. That's tied. So we move now to the um, the vote for Councillor Moreland as to be chair of Golf and the View. Um, <clears throat> I think okay. it makes sense I withdrew now rather than putting everyone through a rather tedious process. You'll have my un un unending gratitude personally for that. <laughs> <laughs> so are we content that Councillor Morland withdraws? Yeah. Right, so Councillor Brown is now Chair of Golf and the View. We move on to Vice Chair. Do we have a proposal? I'd like to propose Richard Morland, Councillor Morland for Vice Chair. And I propose Councillor Bill Webb as Vice Chair. 
Okay, so um, Vice Chair, so the, the, so there's this there's no, no neither of those people have been Vice Chair previously, so it's, it's just an open vote in any any order. Um, um, who who was the first proposed then? Is that Councillor Moreland? Uh, yeah. Okay, we start with Councillor Moreland. Back to the vote. Okay. So Councillor Nazish Adil. Four, please. Councillor Dave Argent. Against. Councillor Liz Borman. Against. Councillor Phil Borman. Against. Councillor Mark Brown. Aye. Councillor Jean Cash. Four. Councillor Sylvia Dunn. Four. Councillor John Edson. Against. Councillor Morag Everden. Four. Councillor Mohammed um, Ali Haider. Four. Councillor Rini Mahada. Four. Councillor Richard Honeyman. Four. Councillor Olivia Honeyman. Four. Councillor Jim Lord. Against. Councillor James Meek. Four. Councillor Richard Morland. Four. Councillor Rodney Reid. Against. Councillor Jeff Rutland. Against. Councillor Linda Woolraven. Against. Councillor Bill Webb. Thanks. It's a tied vote. Oh, that's a chance, wasn't it? Uh, so who was who was vice chair previously? Um, it was Mark Brown, but um, then the chair there was a vacant position for chair, so Mark Brown sort of carried it on. So Mark Brown's now chair, so that's why we've got a vacant position for vice chair. In that sense. So you've got a standing proposal for Councillor Webb as well at the moment. Mm -hmm. That's vice chair. So we've got a tie for Councillor Webb and a tie for Councillor Moreland. We haven't taken the vote for Councillor Webb. Right, okay, we go to Councillor Webb then. <laughs> yeah. I'm just... You'll, you'll see one of these um, um, horror cartoons, my head doing this at some point. So. <laughs> okay. Welcome. <laughs> so um, the proposal is for Councillor Bill Webb to be um, Vice Chair, so I'll go for, go for the vote. So Councillor Nazisha Dill. Against, please. Councillor Dave Argent. For... Councillor Liz Borman. Four. Councillor Phil Borman. Four. Councillor Mark Brown. Four. Councillor Jean Cash. Against. Councillor Sylvia Dunn. Against. Councillor John Edson. Four. Councillor Morag Everden. Against. Councillor Mohammed um, Ali Haider. Against. Uh, Councillor Renu Mahada. Against. Uh, Councillor Richard Honeyman. Against. Councillor Olivia Honeyman. Against. Councillor Jim Lord. For. Councillor James Meek. Against. Councillor Richard Moreland. Against. Councillor Rodney Reid. For. Councillor Jeff Rutland. For. Councillor Linda Woolraven. Linda. You're muted, Linda. Four. Oh. <laughs> Councillor Bill Webb. Four. Oh. That's tied. Time, <laughs> <laughs> so I'd count it anyway. Just for um, would either of those of you two like to withdraw? No. No. Um, Yes, I think I probably would. Yes, I would. Thank you. Thank you. Otherwise, I'm going to be, I'm going to have, if you, if you were to repeat the mayor's vote at the end of the meeting, I probably wouldn't have lasted it very long. So it's, um, okay, we, we, have a, we have a result. So the, the deputy chair of Golf and the View is Councillor Webb. Thank you. And well done. And, um, there are six messages in, but they're all simply the, uh, the votes. Next one. Okay, so uh, we're moving on to the personnel committee. Have there been any changes on that one? Georgia? Nope, so for chair, you've just got Councillor Edson standing. For vice chair, um, we've got two councillors. We've got councillors Argent and Councillor Jean Cash as well. 
if we take the chair first. Just to be clear, we've only got, the, 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 is there a proposal only for Councillor Edson? Is that, is that correct? Yeah. Formalise that. So. I'd like to propose Councillor Edson for chair. And seconded by me. Uh, Councillor Cash, you were waving to do something. Well, I had a, a, I said that I would uh, propose Councillor Edson as well. So. Right, so so we've proposed and seconded Councillor Edson. There's no um, <laughs> other candidate. Therefore, Councillor, I, I would, I, I think I can now just simply say Councillor Edson is elected. Is that right? I think show hands. Show of hands. Okay. Is Councillor Edson now the chair of personnel? Looks like it. Any against? Any abstaining? Right, we go on to vice chair. Okay. So, sorry, dear, we need to go now. Okay, thank you. You need to be away. <laughs> okay. okay. Thank, thank you very much. much. And congratulations to Rodney and Jim. Thanks. Beginning to wonder, actually, but never mind. <laughs> the, um, okay, we come on to. Uh, well, actually, <laughs> Rodney, oh, sorry. Mr. Chair. You're coming to vice chair of. I'm um, sorry, Rodney. Um, Councillor Nazisa Dill was just had oh, to well, I'll not I'll not leave the chat, but I'll just close my um, camera and mute myself for a time being. If there's a vote, I'll just come back because I also have to open my fast. Hmm? Yes. Is that all right? Yes, whatever you need to do. I think that's lovely. Um, exactly. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just around. So, anyway, I can hear I, you all. Wait, sorry. Can yeah. I ask whether, because it's the this is the end of Ramadan for three of our councillors, that we ought to wait for them to be able to come back? It seems, you know, we've got a rel religious thing going on here. Are we going to say that we are not allowing them to vote because they have got uh, to end Ramadan at this point? I don't think, I'm not happy about that. I, I guess the question would be, do maybe do, do they want to, would they want to vote going forward? It's, sorry, it's not something that I've certainly kind of mm. thought of or come across before. I, so I, I did raise it earlier, uh, not, not with you, Georgia, but I was concerned about it. Um, uh, um, they've been fasting all day and we, we've not closed the meeting, we're nearly there and they're not going to be able to vote because of their religion and I, I do object to that. Um, I mean, I, I'm not quite sure, I mean if we were in a in a normal meeting, and I, I do remember from last year that they they obviously went went, um, sure. and that there wasn't a, they weren't going to be coming back and um, I know that they did speak to the chair um, before the meeting but um, Silk Council Dunn makes a good point. That what we can, what we could do, is to defer the last two or three items on this uh, this agenda and move on to the other agenda items that are basically straightforward reports, and then come back to the end of the meeting to finish off this business about the, the last three chairs and vice chairs. So I think that the other, other looking at items. Um, do um, sorry, sorry, chair. Do they know that we we were could, are going to do that, or are they just no. do they not know? You see, no. So, I mean, well, they, I they can yours. call and let them know. Yes, I think that if if I think if yes, if Councillor Dill could could call, talk to the Councillor Mrs Hyder uh, to say that we will go on with some other business, which is uh, you know the the items. Um, uh, 9, 10, 11, 12 are relatively straightforward and come back to the vote after they've broken their fast. Yes. Uh, had a bit of a guitar and come back prayer. here. Yes. Is how that, long do you reckon? How, how, well, what time shall I tell them? 15 minutes or I think 15, under or 20? I think 15 minutes is reasonable. Yeah. Because it is right. a, a, break, a quick break. Fast. Well, I, I know lots of Muslims. I've been in Bangladesh a long time. Breaking fast in a first prayer can be quite quick. So are you content for us to, to have 15 minutes of what I think is less contentious business or less discussable business and then come back to vote on the last three, three pairs of chairs and vice chairs? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody saying no? I think, okay, we're all in favour. So we're going to park, okay. we're going to park the finishing of committee agenda item eight and move on to agenda item nine. Right. Thank you, everybody, for doing that. Really appreciate that. Uh, Georgia, uh, would you be able to let us in if, if I leave mm. the meeting? I'll let them know to rejoin. Yeah, of course, that's fine. Lovely. Yeah. I'll give them a call then. Thank you very okay, much. See you soon. You. Bye. 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 Bye, everyone. Okay, so we get moved to agenda item nine. Uh, this is outside body representation update. Um, 
we just moved around on the screen now. Um, Izzy, is there anything to say in, in, in uh, introduction of this? No, I mean, the main, the main part um, for this is that we obviously don't know what, what the outside bodies, um, how they're working at this present time because of the current situation uh, with COVID-19. So the proposal is that things stay as they are at the moment, um, but we keep um, with the same uh, sort of structure we had before, where if a vacancy were to arise, then uh, councillors would be emailed and advised of that vacancy. And we would, if, if there was a consensus, the officers would um, put the right things in place to, to make that, to fill that vacancy. And if there wasn't a consensus, we would come back to the council. Um, but at the moment, we're not quite sure what outside bodies are functioning. Okay, so the, the recommendations of the report are to note the update on the outside bodies, to note that a review on outside bodies is postponed, and to note that the council's representation on outside bodies will be re reviewed in conjunction with those bodies. Um, so do you want me to read the recommendations in full or, or do you all have a copy in front of you? Um, uh, I think um, Councillor Warraven has got her hand up to speak and there's been a posting from Councillor Brown that he would be willing as a young senior to stand for the seniors forum. That's a war raven. Thank you. Um, I'm, I'm uh, a, a trustee for the Bishopstone United Charities and uh, normally we would have two, um, uh, two councillors sitting on this uh, committee. Um, Twelve months ago uh, um, I was the only one who put our name forward but past councillor um, Penny Lower um, volunteered to continue her role on the uh, on the charity, and she is willing to do the next twelve months if the council are happy for her to do that. And I'm happy to remain on as a trustee as well. I think people are a bit wary of becoming a trustee, <laughs> and um, and we are sort of active. As a, as a charity, uh, looking after the arms houses and the residents in Bishopstown Village. Well, I think from the chair, I think this is something that we can resolve now. Does any other councillor want to become the representative on Bishopstown United Charities? I think in that case, we can take up Council Warraven's suggestion that we carry with the existing two, Council Warraven and Penny Lower. <laughs> Is that think... acceptable? Yep. Okay. yep. Yeah, let's have a start. Right, I... Yeah, sorry, George is probably going to say the same thing as me. So, George. Yeah. Yeah, I was just going to reiterate really kind of what Izzy said introducing the item that um, really as officers the recommendation is that we look to keep representatives as they are. So as um, Councillor Walraven said, we would be looking to ask Penny Lower to stay on as the second representative or trustee with the charity. And the plan is that the representatives would stay the same and then we'll review them once we've got a better idea of the position that the bodies are in, bodies are in, sorry, <laughs> um, further to the coronavirus crisis. So uh, they'll all stay the same. And Georgia, that's what the, 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 note, the minute for this item will say that it will be, things will continue until we're clearer in terms of how the future, yeah. how, how the future is and how the, but do you want to give us actual form of words for that? What, what will the minute say? As in the as the recommendation is shown on the report. Exactly, as the recommendation. Yeah. Okay, I think we all, we've all agreed that. Yeah, I agree. Um, there's a question from Councillor Brown or a comment. Councillor Brown, would you like to speak to that? Uh, yes, we've only we've only got two vacancies left on the stakeholders group on health issues. Um, if anybody wants to take those up, then this is them for. I propose to put the list as is. Uh, Councillor Evidence waving. Sorry, I didn't quite hear what Mark said. Then on on what on what ones? Two vacancies on what? Councillor Brown. Stakeholders health group. Put down the list. Of stakeholders group on health issues. Okay. Two vacancies. I think maybe if I could just. Um, I think it's quite key to remember what Izzy said about the fact that as officers um, we have delegated power to appoint councillors to fill vacancies where there is consensus achieved. So where there are still vacancies on the outside bodies list, 
by all means, we can go through that at some point and um, as officers, we have the power to fill those as long as the councillors agree by email. So I think we can um, look at any vacancies there are at a future date if the council are happy with that. Okay. Um, Councillor um, Borman, Phil Borman. Yeah, I agree with recommendations, what Mark said and what George said. Yeah. So we go with that. That's Okay, you're content we can dispatch. There's no dispatch item eight. Um, <coughs> Eight minutes, bodies. Nine is the fixed asset register. I think we might be looking at different numbers just to confirm. So item nine, outside bodies. Oh, outside bodies, sorry. Yeah. Uh, ten, yeah. Register, sorry. That's right. Right. So hey, this is we... by Lucy Clark. Sorry, Chair, could we just do a show of hands on the outside bodies report? I didn't quite catch that just for just that's, for the record just to confirm okay. that's to take those recommendations on block on the recommendations as in the, in the agenda item are we saying yes to all those perfect thank you right <coughs> so let's get to the right page so we're, so we're agreeing we're at item 10 now is that right yes yes yeah. 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 Asset, asset register um uh, do, uh, uh, Lucy, do you want to say something in introducing this? Um, this is just basically presenting the um, asset register um, as it is. There's been a few additions from last year, um, mainly like the skate park, um, a couple of other items like the um, CCTV and things, but that's, that's basically... Um, Sort of our asset register just for you to note really so, sorry 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 Luce. are we not doing sorry have i done yes done. are we doing subscriptions or asset register uh, number 10 yes. fixed asset register oh. oh my my agenda's out of sync Whatever number it is, it's fixed asset <laughs> Sorry, register. my agenda's the wrong way around. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so, Lucy, so it's, these, are, these are basically, are these, it's, a, it's the note, the report attached as the appendix, and in essence, this is an information item, is that right? Yes, that's right, yes. And we just present it each year, so as you're up to date with all the assets. Okay, Councillor Rutland is signalling to speak. It's only, it's only a very quick one. Um, uh, Councillor um, Lord, Jim. yes. Yeah, Jim Lord. Um, it's only a question for the, um, the, 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 the town council. With the um, skate park, now I'm assuming that's been picked up on your corporate asset insurance. Am I correct? Uh, I think that's addressed yes. to Lucy. Lucy? Yes, it, yes, it is. Yes. Um, it is on our insurance, yeah. Right. Is that we do it neutral or? Sorry, I didn't catch that. Is that with Zurich Mutual? Oh, with Zurich. Yeah. With Zurich, yes, that's right, yes. Okay. okay. Right. Councillor Brown is indicated to speak. Councillor Brown? Okay. Yes, no, you hadn't finished. Um, it doesn't matter. All I'm saying was the fact that with Zurich Mutual, make sure that your minimum clause for things like skate parks, the normal clause which is picked up by the town council is around... 20 to 25,000 pounds. Just be very careful what the minimum claim is um, for non exclusion clause, which is not about 20 grand. So, I'm because I do this on a regular basis, um, something like this the, the clause is the first 20 grand is picked up by the town council. Can you please look into that? through Lewis District Council, who is your main body, that we don't get picked, we don't get knocked 20 pounds for some, for some kid breaking their ankle or something like that. That's what I'm saying. I think perhaps Councillor Lord could have a chat, uh, just conversation with yeah, us yeah, yeah. Okay. beyond the meeting. Yeah. Councillor Brown, you want to propose something? Yeah, um, I'm the fixed asset register. This is an annual event anyway. And, um, you know, I think Lucy's did a very good job putting the, the list together. It does fluctuate from year to year, so I propose we accept it as is. Someone second that? 
Sorry, so, Chair, I think you might have Councillor Richard Honeyman looking to speak, looking from the chat. Yes. Just very quickly, um, Mr. Mayor, on, on going back to the skate part, is the actual amount there, is that based on a 2019 figure or a 2012 figure? It's based on, sorry, sorry, um, Matt, Mayor, it's based on the amount that we've spent during 2019. So it's, a, it's the most recent refurb and cost. I think it's about 242,000, something like that. Yeah. Well, I just did a message from uh, Councillor Adil uh, to say that the uh, the three people who moved off to, to break their fast are ready to rejoin the meeting. So I wouldn't want to postpone, prolong this item too long. So are we ready to, to vote to accept this report? Uh, Councillor Brown's proposed that we do. Someone second that, Councillor Walraven. Okay, those in favour of accepting the report? Any against? Any, abst any abstaining? Carried. Okay, we move back then to the uh, to the item outside um, committee memberships, item eight, and we're we are about to discuss personnel, grievance and discipline, and appeal. Okay, so we got to the vice chair appointment um, at personnel. So there were two proposals, um, as on our piece of paper. So there was, there's a proposal um, of Councillor Dave Argent and um, Councillor Jean Cash. And have either of those been vice chair in the past? Mr Mayor, I'd like to support Councillor Argent, please. Right, so we've got a, a who proposed Councillor Argent? I did, Mr Mayor. And, and who seconds Councillor Argent? Oh, Councillor you. Brown. And <laughs> then... Uh, who proposes Councillor Cash? I'll, I'll propose Councillor Cash. Uh, Councillor Dunn, who seconds Councillor Cash? Uh, Councillor, uh, uh, Councillor Everton, right. Um, um, yeah. uh, so I've just had a message from Councillor Honeyman that Councillor Hyder is not in the meeting yet. Um, so what's your, what do the council want to do? Do you want to carry on the meeting? Um, do you want to adjourn the, 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 the piece of the meeting that refers specifically to the committees? And just uh, do the other two items. Councillor Webb's got his hand up. I think we should carry on with a meeting as usual. We should treat it more like a, a normal council meeting. If someone has to leave the meeting, then they lose the right to vote. That's the view. Um, Councillor Rutland, I think, is agreeing in that. Anybody feel strongly we shouldn't continue? Uh, I've got several hands up. Councillor Councillor Cash. Councillor Cash, you wanted to say yes, something. Yes, I, I I have serious misgivings about it. I think if people's religion interrupts, you know, it's it's difficult. Mm. Okay, Councillor Everton. Yeah, I mean, normally if someone left a meeting, I'd say that's because it's for religious reasons. I'm a little bit uncomfortable with not giving them the opportunity to vote in some way. But obviously it's it's up to the group. Well, uh, Isabel and George, have you got any advice? I think, I mean, of what I know from the Local Government Act, I haven't seen any mention to the fact that, or yeah any mention to people having to leave meetings because of religious reasons so in my opinion I think really it's just a decision that the council need to make I know certainly if they're not here for the discussion on items that they shouldn't be taking part in the voting so say we couldn't say just get them back in to do the vote if they haven't been a part of the discussion um, but I don't know if Izzy has anything else to add on that no I agree um, and it would be the same if someone had to go and um, for an appointment of any kind. Um, I, I don't think religion is the same as going from the point. It's not about it's not about religion, it's about it, the, the body of the council and that and we're still enough here to make a decision as to what happens in those things and that's it. So we, that's we, are, corporate. we are corporate. We're corporate, that's right, exactly. So um, I, propose that I, support, I support Councillor Webb in that the meeting to, to continue chair and he needs to see a show of hands for that. I think we'll we'll let's put it, let's have that as a proposal then. So either to propose we adjourn the meeting uh, to a date that's convenient for us to continue the last three the three the last part of item eight and the other two. 
if we it, it, do we are we in terms of item 11 insurance and item 12 annual subscriptions is anything in that contentious that needs voting i'm just saying that we could adjourn just the the the, the part of agenda item 8 we've not finished but the, chair, okay. chair with respect it's, it is the annual meeting yeah chair please uh, Okay, well, right, let's go to a vote then. So the proposal is, you know, let's... let's oh, Jim, Jim's just nipped upstairs for a comfort break. He'll be back in two seconds. Well, he's out of the meeting on that later. So, so do, you know, do you want a negative proposal or a positive proposal? A proposal that we do adjourn or we don't adjourn? Can the <laughs> proposal be that we can meet on, please? Carry on. I got a proposal and a seconder to carry on. Yeah. Now, given that Jim's not out of the room on religious grounds, he's he's, he's removed himself from the ability to vote. Um, that that's that's what we're, the rules we're staying by. So, Jim, right, the proposal is he's we, back. we continue. Right, right, right. Okay. So that there's a proposal and seconded that we continue the meeting. Those in favour? Yeah. Uh, can we just do a count? One, two, three, five. <laughs> Could I maybe suggest that we do this by roll call, just because I think it could be quite a, yeah. a people feel quite passionately about it. So I think maybe just to make sure we're not miscounting, if that would be right, okay. So roll call and so names then, yeah. Yes, yeah, sorry, yes. Okay, yeah, I, so, I agree, we do that. So the proposal is that the meeting carries on. Yes. So Councillor Nazish Adil. Well, because it is religious, I will abstain myself. Councillor Dave Argent. Unmute yourself, Dave. Unmute yourself, Dave. Here we go. Dave? 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 Yeah. Well, how do you vote? I vote, uh, I abstain. Okay. okay. Councillor Liz Borman? Four. Councillor Phil Borman? Four. Councillor Mark Brown? Four. Councillor Jean Cash? Okay. Councillor Sylvia Dunn. None of these people Councillor have Dunn. any working experience. Councillor Dunn. Dunn. Against. Oh. Councillor John Edson. Four. Councillor Morag Everdon. Morag? Sorry, Maura, do you for against or abstain? Against, and I do have experience. Councillor, oh, sorry. The, so the Haders aren't here. They haven't rejoined, have they? No. no. Um, Councillor Richard Honeyman. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really sure, sure what we're doing now. I'm not sure if, if we're trying to cancel the whole meeting or just these three items. No, this is to, this is to continue the, the whole of the meeting. Right, so so if it's um, so, do we need to do we need to complete the 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 uh, the, the other three committees? There's a proposal to... to be voted on that we continue. So yeah, you... but if we, I'm just trying to find. I'm trying to find out where where I like to know what what legislation it is, please on on this. Well, we have we a continue. proposal in front of us. Yeah, we're... but I'm not sure it's, if it's if it's valid. I like to know what legislation we are yeah. before we continue. Otherwise, I'd have to abstain. Sorry. You okay, Richard Councillor Honeyman abstains. Keep going. Councillor Olivia Honeyman. Against. Councillor Jim Lord. For. Councillor James Meek. Councillor Richard Morland. So did Councillor Meek vote? No, yeah. did he? Oh, I did, unless I heard it. Four. Oh, four, okay. Mm. Oh, sorry, did you ask me something? Sorry. No, no that was Mr. Sorry. Meek. Keep going. So, sorry, Councillor Richard Morland. Abstain. Councillor Rodney Reid. Abstain. Councillor Jeff Rutland. Keep calm and carry on. Four. Councillor Linda Woolraven. Four. Councillor Bill Webb. Four. So that motion's carried. 
Right, we continue the meeting. So the, the motion in front of us is the Personnel Committee Vice Chair. Yeah. And so, uh, when, we, when, we, when, we, when we, before we, we um, adjourned, so did we have a proposer and a seconder for both Councillors Argent and Cash? Yeah. Um, I don't see any sensible way of taking these in any particular order. Um, um, uh, let's, uh, well, okay, let's start with Councillor Cash. It's well, that's, the, that's just logical. Councillor Meek's got his hand up. Councillor Meek? I'm proposing Jean Cash. Yeah. So we, we've got the proposer and seconder. We're just working out who to take it first. We've had Councillor Brown saying alphabetical order. Anybody object to that? Mm -hmm. Sorry, right. I didn't hear. Okay, Councillor um, Cash is okay with that. Uh, Councillor Argent then. So the proposal is that Councillor Argent be Vice Chair of Personnel. So we go to vote on that. Okay, so um, Councillor Nazish Adil. Against. Councillor Dave Arden. Councillor Arden Four. against. Four. <laughs> Councillor Liz Borman. Four. Councillor Phil Borman. Four. Councillor Mark Brown. Four. Councillor Jean Cash. Against. Councillor Sylvia Dunn. Are we, sorry, are we voting for Rod Dave, Dave Arden? Right, so. Dave Argent at the moment. Yeah, against. Okay, what, sorry, what's your vote? Against. Against. Councillor Dunn, yep, okay. Councillor John Edson. For. Councillor Morag Everden. Against. Um, so the heck, just sorry, I just want to check that the haters have not rejoined. Mm. Councillor Richard Honeyman. Against. Councillor Olivia Honeyman. Against. Councillor Jim Lord. Councillor Lord. <laughs> you're, you're muted. No. He's yes! Said, he said for all. For. Councillor James Meek. Against. Councillor Richard Moreland. Against. Councillor Rodney Reed. For. Councillor Jeff Rutland. For. Councillor Linda Woolraven. For. Councillor Bill Webb. For. So that's carried. So I think this means that Councillor Cash, we don't put you to the vote. I think we just it's simply that um, Councillor Argent is now elected. Yes, except. Okay. Yeah. So thank you. Okay, we now move to the grievance and disappointment. Take an order then to do that. Sorry? There you go. What does somebody say? Not to worry. Um, so if we, if we move on to the grievance and disciplinary, um, we haven't got any changes in that one. No, there's no further changes, Georgia. No, there's no. No. Um, so the chair and vice chair um, are currently proposed to stay as is. Yeah. Yeah. So we have a, a proposal for it to be stay as is. I propose. Yeah. Right. Stop. Those seconded. Uh, stay as is. Councillor Webb. Those in favour of staying as is. Those against. Those abstaining. Okay. Now, how we need to be led through the appeals committee in terms of who's eligible and then who might who might be elected. Okay, so I think um, as it showed on the sheet that councillors were sent earlier, there's just one change in that councillor Adil is happy to sit on the vacant position on that um, committee. So that means we've got a full committee. We'd have six members. And then um, as Councillor Reid is standing down, who was the chair, we've got Councillor Rutland um, looking to stand as chair and Councillor Everdon looking to stay on as vice chair. So there's no um, contesting positions there. So are we all content for that to be the case? I accept that. No, you, you do accept it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All in favour? Yes? Yeah. Okay. That dispenses with item eight. Item, so it's item eight. We've done item nine. Um, 
Sorry. I think we're on. Are we on to item eleven? Insurance arrangements. Really so, sorry, Rodney. Just for yeah. the, um, just for the sake of clarity and the minutes, um, is that the first item on item eight? The first recommendation was to agree the committee structure, which I think we may have jumped so, yeah. over. Um, just for the sake of making sure that all of those recommendations have been reviewed and considered, I just think if we could just maybe take was those. There, was there a, I think there was a chart with committee structure on it. Yeah. Is that something we can see on the screen? Um, I haven't got it on the screen, but the, the proposal is, or the recommendation, sorry, is that we um, keep the structure as is, so not make any changes at this point in time. So that, that's the, um, the, 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 bar, the block chart at the bottom of that um, uh, item, agenda item eight report. That's the report 0120. So it's basically as we are now. Yeah. But with the, um, uh, the likelihood of a review of committees going into the future. Yeah. So, so the recommendations for the report for the agenda item eight are approve the existing committee structure, appoint members for committees and, and subcommittees, appoint chairs, appoint vice chairs, appoint members to standalone appeals committee. So are we content that we've discharged all those, agreed all those recommendations? Councillor okay, Brown? Yes, I propose that we accept all those five items in block. And I'd like to second that. Right, pros and seconded. Anyone want to speak on this? Councillor Webb, you got a hand up? No, I'm just agreeing. Those proposed and seconded, those in favour? Aye. 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 Anybody against? Anybody abstaining? That's carried. <coughs> okay. uh, so insurance. We're now on item. We're now on item eleven. Um, Lucy, do you want to speak to this? We're now. Oh, sorry. That's better. Oh, I, can you hear me now? We can. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, so this is our annual insurance arrangements. Um, the report should have said that uh, a full council meeting held on the 18th of October 2018, not 19, that and then it was agreed that we would take up the option of the um, oh, having a further two year um, arrangement with them, um, which we've done. Um, so we're now in our last year of Zurich, um, which will, so this, this will go up to the, um, 20, the 31st of March next year. Um, so this year we're going to have to look at um, to going out to tackle this um, insurance term. So myself and um, the RFO Karen Singleton will do that sort of towards the end of the year. So in this, so this is this is an, a, a report to to note, to note the information. Yes, sorry, it's to note. Yes, just to note again, just for your information as to where we are with the insurances. Do any members have questions? Uh, Councillor Brown, Councillor yeah. Rutland to follow. Yes, Chair, thank you. Um, I mean, the, the Finance Committee, of, well, uh, sorry, no, the Finance Committee, Finance staff worked very hard to establish this insurance. Uh, it was really the best deal that we could get at the time. And as um, Lucy said, we've got another, just over another year and a bit to, to go on that. And it will come up for review at the end of the year. So I propose that we note this uh, report. Councillor yeah. Rutland. It's Jim, not me. <laughs> right. Councillor, Councillor Lord. Okay. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Mayor. It's only quickly. I'd like to have uh, a copy of the insurance policy placed in my pigeonhole so I can have a look at it as I deal with um, corporate insurance on a daily basis. Um, it's just the minimum premiums you have to pay in the case of an accident, as I said, with the... Um, skate park etc it's just a couple of bits and pieces i if the um deputy or the representative town clerk can just drop it off in my pitch hall I'd, I'd love to have a look at it and just skim me eyes over it thank you um, i think it's good a uh, good news to have a councillor interested in this kind of area so tonight we're... <laughs> can so we can make, <laughs> make that can we make that possible either lucy or isabel yeah if it yeah if in fact i could actually email it if that's easier email will be fine We'll be fine. Okay, so we have documents at all. Someone's either got a sore throat, there's a dog in the room. Um, so as far as agenda item 11 is concerned, we've had, I think we've been proposed and seconded. The, the motion is that we simply accept the recommendation to note the information that's been presented. 
So those in favour? <laughs> chair, <laughs> chair, we don't have to vote to note something. No, Mr. Mr. Mayor, we yeah. don't have to vote to note. We just did. Okay, moving along. We don't have to. Item 12. Okay, we're moving on to annual subscriptions. Item 12. This is presented by Georgia. Um, yeah, thank you, Chair. Nothing really to add to the report there. These are each year we bring forward a list of subscriptions to the council to approve um, all the information set out in the report there. Um, and we would recommend that you approve the spend in the report, but obviously welcome any questions from councillors. I propose that we support that, Chair. Councillor Brain's got his hand up. Councillor uh, Rutland to follow. There's, there's one item on there, Association of Local Councils, which council voted to suspend um, our membership of that earlier on in the year. Um, I'd like to propose to reinstate that um, uh, this, our payment to Sussex Association because they've given us a lot of help over the last three months mm -hmm. and they're also a point of information as far as council matters are concerned nationally so I think they're quite a vital organisation to have uh, on our list of associations. Uh, Councillor Rutland followed by Councillor Cash. No, it's all right. No, okay, Councillor Cash. I, I agree with Mark, I'd like to second that. And just to check, Georgia, that the um, intention to recommence that subscription is actually a recommendation from the officers, isn't it? Yes, here it is. So we are content with this report. So we, the recommendations are we simply approve the council subscriptions and spend as detailed below. So I still like to get consent from the meeting. So just show me your assent if you're in, in, in favour with this. Okay, thank you. Uh, that brings us to the end of item 12 and the end of the uh, end of the agenda. So there is no opportunity for any other business. This brings the end of the meeting.